You may have noticed that if you're in your mobile app or online banking, that your transaction history only goes back to September 1st of 2019. But don't worry about it because you actually have history that goes back up to two years if you go to your eDocuments widget. Now where is that widget you ask? Well you go along to the left side of the page for back on the dashboard page when you log in. You've got all your widgets along to the left. If you don't see your eDocuments right there, there's also this more button. Click here and from there you'll see the rest of your widgets. One of these widgets should be your eDocuments widget. So click on that and here you're in all of your eDocuments and you want to see statements. So if you go to the tabs along the top, you can click your statements tab and you'll find your statements right there. Now you got your first few months shown right on that first screen. If you want to see more months previous to that, you can click right here or go back. And let me give you a quick run through of how you read your statements. So you open up your statement, you got a bar across the top that shows you all your headers. One of those being your transaction date. So you've got July 31st, August 1st. Then you've got your description listed right to the right of that. And of course your amounts to the right of that. Now if you scroll down, you'll see you moving along through the month of August until you get to the very end of August or right before your September 1st where your transaction history left off. Now if you want to go back, of course you can always click your back button if you're in your online banking or you can click the statements tab again and see the rest of your statements.